And Moti, I'm on star status in the galaxy. Butter my Tim's got him calling me Timothy. MBWS brief for the synergy. Sorello Wellness sipping red is my remedy. Aeromax diffuser, room smell exotic. All of these oils, I'ma need about 10 of these. I get that paper, my nose barely legible. I probably get a snack from Holly Edibles. I'm in that room right across from the radio. I might just go right ahead on the patio. Mama used to blast that Patty LaBelle. Lately, I've been one of old school Chevelle. Rip out the engine, make it drive itself. Cabana cigars, I might like me a stick. When the market is black, it's as black as it get. When the market is black, it's as black as it get. Thanks to Mr. Allen for the assist. Thanks to Matt Hampton for the assist. Thanks to Teron Wallace for the assist. Wouldn't be here without Jay Rich. Figure deal me finna make it matriculate. Done with talking, talking, just watch me demonstrate. I read my chicken Caribbean jerk, so a pretty little boss in the market. Her business name was on a shirt. Yeah. Man, I'm on 20 right now. I'm on my way. About to turn on Turner Hill. Yeah, you know I'm pulling up to the Black Wall Street. Dope, dope. So, um, when I first met you, man, you had this camera. This and I mean, every time I every time I looked up, I saw this thing flashing. You had another celebrity in the camera. Uh, and... I mean, I'm not on Instagram much, but every time I'm on Instagram, bro, you are present. Um, you are con- you're constantly showing love. Um, you are you're a vessel of light. I constantly see you pouring into people, um, just giving advice and um, helping, helping. And uh, I I just want to let you know I love it, man. Like since, it. since I met you, I haven't uh, had an opportunity to get out and hang with you and be on the scene too much, but. Yeah, since I've connected, I've always seen you working, and I really uh, that is inspiring to see that, bro. So. That's love. Um, I mean, honestly, when it comes to like pouring into others, I feel like that was like, you know, I tried so many things in life from sports, entertainment, and you know, with doing everything, I finally found that like being like my per- far as my purpose. I felt like being a vessel was my calling. Like, just, you know, I mean, we could call it pouring into others, but more so just being that light, being that uh, vessel, being um, that walking testimony. Like, look, I'm proof in the pudding that you can do this too. So I'm real big on, like, unity. So, you know, that's where that comes from. I just love unity, especially in my community, or our community, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's that's what that stemmed from. Um. So to kind of su- to kind of supplement what you said because it's it's very powerful. Um man, I had a I I remember this day, like March 15th, right? Like my laptop got stolen. And see, I'm an artist. So you know when uh you have intellectual property and things like that that you've created um that you possibly can't recreate, uh it's very tough. But like literally, man, this man found me and he told me. Um, the universe, you know, God and the universe selects people. So God gives us free will and gives us gifts. But then he told me that the universe picks certain people and he increases their rate of supply. And so that's, that's one of them for many are called, but only few are chosen. Correct. And so that, and I just wanted to let you know, um, I wanted to give you that, but also let you know, as we're talking about being a vessel and pouring into others like that's exactly what I see in you and you know to let you know that there's there's definitely a responsibility that comes along because the thing is what you can give maybe five people can't even produce just maximizing themselves you know what I'm saying so when you when you when he increases or the universe increases your rate of supply uh it plays out just like that so um how old are you, bro? Take a wild guess. Uh, 24. Well, you know, that's crazy. A lot of people be thinking I'm, I'm a little younger than that. I guess it's because of my height, though. You know, my feet ain't even touching the flow. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm 30, man. You're 30? 30. Yeah. Wow, I'm 32. 30, 30. 30 as well. I'm oh, not I was about 32. To say I can't say that. <laughs> you 30 as well? I just, I turned you see, 30 that's this crazy. Year. You, now... Look at me and look at you. Mm-hmm. Why I don't got all that, man? I, like, you look like you're a little older than 30, not like wrinkly age-wise. Yeah. But just, you know, all that. Like, how? Huh? Yeah. Well, 
Uh, for, I don't know if this is the well, truth. Jay-Z almost 60 and he, he don't, don't got nothing. Yeah. So I I'll, guess I'm on my Jay-Z shenanigans, maybe. I'll give you that. We, right, we not going to talk about <laughs> testosterone. This, this. <laughs> I'll give you that. Oh, but, man, I had to shave at 14. I wanted a haircut. And my stepdad was like, nah, um, you going to nah, just shave. I was like, shave. I did it, bro. And since that day. It's been growing quick, so I don't know if that's what jump started. I don't know if you've ever shaved, uh, nah, but if you really, want it, I about to say if I had to do that, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm tired of people asking me for my ID when I go on the store now. <laughs> for real, yeah. I really can't compete with nobody I'm too cool for tension You could be greatness or be complacent You gotta make the decision Taking the good, the bad, the ugly Zoom, now I can never stop Light as a feather with every endeavor Balance, shout out my arm Doing this shit on my lonesome Grinding till my life turn really fine Ain't in a race with nobody Chasing nobody I'm taking my time Star seed, I'm walking my path Now all I'm missing is Toto Ring on my finger cause I be the champ Now all I'm missing is Frodo Push back if you ain't on my time Maybe the light is sublime Ain't on that regular day for shit Money making on my mind I've been starving, moving my hook beside my name is Garvey Have I been sleeping, I'm telling them Harley This ain't a game, but I still like the party That is my faulty, cutting distractions Blocking my passion, taking affirmative action I'm being patient, shaping my greatness Knowing that I cannot take less I'm too rich for this Knowing my worth, I'ma go to the max Money always spinning and spinning But time, you can't get it back This is what stardom feel like, take a good look Athletics on my body, picture perfect Got them hooked up, you know I got them hooked What's up, y'all? This is Ajane here at Star Status, home of athletics. If you want to get fly on the fly, go ahead and come by. Well, yeah. Yeah, so I know we were, we got uh, pretty deep talking about life and stuff. But um, yeah, so. so I wanted to just quickly touch on uh, the impact in the community. So uh, you have a platform, correct? Yes, sir. Way Media. Okay, Way Media. Yeah. Nice. Now, okay, now I love like I love that logo. By the way, so tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit more about Way Media and what you're doing with that. Yes. Um, I went to Ohio Media School in 2018. I graduated in 2019, and I was going by D Way Productions. I was mm -hmm. doing event recaps, documentaries, you know, vlogging. Um, 2021. I kind of transferred over to just steel shots and photos only. Okay. And I just, you know, I really didn't have enough time to do what I wanted to do with the camera because I wanted to act as well. So I'm right. like rehearsing and auditioning and going to set. And it's like, I'm trying to balance out being an actor and a photographer. Um, eventually, you know, I wanted to create a, a space that offered more of just photography, like many sources of, you know, content like videos, movies, and all that. Yet alone, being that I was that involved and being at a lot of events, right? People keep asking me like, "How you get there? Where right. you? Where you at? <laughs> Who do I need to talk to?" Da, da, da. So I was like, if I combine the two ideas into like this one platform where it's a media and entertainment right. situation, you know, it'll go crazy. Um, I did just that, and you know, what's crazy. You say March fifteenth, something happened to you. Um, that's actually when I started my platform. Like, officially, March 15th. So, I was testing it out the end of January, like, February on and off. Um, it was more so just hand in hand. And, you know, you got my number. I'm going to let you know. But, you know, I officially made it a group chat slash platform in March 15th uh, of this year. And, you know, eventually, you know, people started to hit me up and they was interested. And, you know, I got a membership fee. So once they had, you know, joined and it, the rest was history. Um, since I'm like, I want to say June, July, that was like the big boom. I went from like 60 members mm -hmm. to 150 ASAP. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't so even a whole 30 day situation. It was just like the end of June going into July. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. Like it, it, it became so much bigger than just, having access to events and uh, and even just media, mm -hmm. you know. I started attracting a lot of um, entrepreneurs and entertainers along the lines of uh, cosmetologists, um, tattoo artists, MUAs, yeah. uh, barbers, singers, rappers, dancers, songwriters, distributors, executives, producers, PRs, 
And it just became like, all right, um, there's a lot of services going on here, yeah. you know. I just got to figure out a way to kind of make it make sense and fit my, you know, going to alignment with my vision. Right. Um, but in all, I wanted to provide a space of uh, opportunities for people, leverage, resources, knowledge, power, you mm -hmm. know, a way to build your engagements and your algorithm for your social media platforms and sell and trade your services. You right. know, you know, we what to say by black. Right. So, you know, it's one of them situations. Definitely. OK. Um, well, that's incredible. Um, I love the galvanizing of the community, but on a more nuanced tip, mm -hmm. you actually are bridging, you're basically built a community of people who need each other, right? Exactly. It's creative. The, it's very the resourceful. MUA, like, like the photographer and the videographer needs the model. Exactly. You, know. you see, you get the bigger picture. That, mm -hmm. That's why I said it was more than just the events. I'm not going to lie. Um, it became like big too fast. I wasn't ready for this. Mm -hmm. So it had my, and I'm a Virgo, so I'm real analytical. Ooh, yeah, you so I'm it. like, <laughs> so I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. So many ideas started to come to mind first and then into fruition. Mm -hmm. So I have an administrative team out of all, almost 300 some folks. Um, it's about like a good 18 of us. Mm -hmm. And it's a solid team, you know, my board, my members. And we are creating ways, innovating ways to make this go up, 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 up. Yeah. Um, I can't say too much on this topic, but I've definitely been taking advantage of, uh, shout out to Dexter Sharper, my mentor, Georgia State Representative. Um, I wrote a proposal to him, you know, in the hopes that it would come into fruition as far as getting a union funded for freelancers and media because, you know, we are like literally the bottom of the barrel. They definitely don't respect us. They, they need us, you know, yeah. they, but they, they don't, I'm not going to like, like bash like the industry as a whole, because mm -hmm. I ran into many genuine folks in this industry, you know, mm -hmm. shout out to Jermaine Dupree, mm -hmm. uh, Steve Harvey, DC Young Fly, you know, they took great care of me mm -hmm. and res more so respected me. I don't care what they gave me. They could have gave me zero dollars or no, whatever. Mm -hmm. They respected me and made me feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be, you mm -hmm. know, because this is what I love to do. I don't work no nine to five, you know. So I'm very big on just like, you know, it's us or else. And, you know, being the voice for my people and being able to have everybody back me up, mm -hmm. it feel like. We could change the narrative and and hopes, you know, this could be something that'll come into fruition. And, you know, people won't have to be out here struggling just to live their dreams. Like, we we, we we good. We got stability, foundation, resources. We don't got to really go above and beyond and even compete with Hollywood, per se. You know, mm -hmm. we got our own back end. We got our own thing going on. Now we can, you know, start throwing, like, you know, major events. And that's mm -hmm. the goal too, with my platform, we're going to start throwing a lot of networking events, um, major events, you know, stuff for artists, bringing everybody together, you mm -hmm. know, entertainment. We, we doing it all. Consultant, entertainment, media, PR, and whatever you need, we got you. <laughs> dope, dope. Um, so like with me, um, having the opportunity to, uh, to build new black wall street market and, Oh. And manage it and see so many different levels of people, like from the kids to the to the seniors that we have in the building, even the middle aged people. Um, wa watching how everybody comes to this place and learn. Um, so there's so many different classes that we have that teach our people about business. Mm -hmm. um, and with me being a creative, like. I have, I have an edge because, okay, I was introduced to entrepreneurship, right? And that all you see is entrepreneurs around here. Definitely. So, um, I'm not like as sensitive as the typical artist would be. So a lot of people can't handle business or they don't want to handle business. They just want to be creative. A lot of the times I see that that's what uh, keeps them from getting that dollar that they want sometimes. Um, cause I, I like respect it. Respect is the word for sure. Yeah. Cause, cause it's not about, sorry, not to cut you off, yeah, but it's right. not about like necessarily the dollar. Mm -hmm. It's not the green piece of paper. That's not the problem. Mm -hmm. It's the respect. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to create it, 
they need DJs, they need extras, background, media, like, I don't care, like, assistants, whatever you do behind the scenes, if you're in the background, we fulfill the vision. We complete whatever they are trying to accomplish, Mm -hmm. whatever end goal that they need to Mm -hmm. be accomplished, we complete that. We fulfill that. Without us, it's it's impossible, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest. So... If anything, respect this. You know, I'm talking, it could be, it's many accolades around this. It could be something simple as crafty. Feed us. You know, we should have some type of complimentary something. Gas stipends. You know, it go many ways. People got kids, jobs, and again, like, it's just, like, not easy trying to live the life you want to live um, as an entrepreneur. And you, in the industry, or you got your foot in, but you not really getting the respect you deserve. Mm-hmm. Not that you need or want, but that you deserve. You feel me? That's all. So um, what I was going to say is, like, with me, what I found is that um, older, you know, you have those, you have those gate, those gatekeepers, the such and such, the, the who, the who's who, or at least they act like the who's who. Yeah. And they, they on the old, they on, like. 10 years ago trying to cl- hold on to that fame or yeah. like, so you get a lot of that, right? Yes. Definitely. Um, <laughs> so from the, re- from the respect part, what I find is that we do need to learn the business a little bit more because what I find is I've had friends that I would consult. Right. And I'm like, nah, like, no, you're not just going to do this for me. Like, like what you got going on? What, what can I do? Like, what can I do for you? How can I provide value? All right. Oh, you need to like you need to. Okay, I'm paying for your Uber there and back, and we're gonna we're gonna go eat. Okay, uh, okay, I'll pay your phone bill. I think of necessities when I work with my people. I have I form creative partnership, so I have value. I have a voice. I can sing. I look good. You got a camera. You gonna need a model. You gonna need a male model someday. All right. Um, like I have a I have a friend who's my photographer. Like he wants me to come and perform at his birthdays. I don't do performances for people, but he shows up for me anytime. Okay, I'll show up and I'll, I'll perform for you. Cool, no problem. I don't charge you. You know what I'm saying? Just with that story alone, all right, it shows that you know you got somebody that's supporting you and you're willing to support them back because they're supporting you genuinely, mm-hmm. organically, not forced. Right. Right. Um. So that's one thing, but I want to get back to the gatekeeper comment you made before I get sidetracked. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to elaborate more because you definitely hit a key point um, where I feel like the disconnect is or the problem is social media. Mm. It causes so many folks that's been in this game for so long that's not familiar or like up to par with this new technology that's going on. Mm-hmm. So they feel maybe intimidated, threatened, I don't know, but it, you got us feeling like, oh my God, I look up to you or whatever, but I believe each one teach one. Don't just try to run a game on me, show me, you know, like it's, it, it's room for all of us, bro. Like mm-hmm. it's room for all of us to win. I just wanted to say that because I'm passionate about that, you know? Man, you know, you, you're on point because it's like this, um, and it's like a gener, it's like a generation of Curse. of us. It's like, well, That's it's a, a curse, but it's, it's a generation <laughs> above us. And it's evident because when you look, when you look at our generation, there's not a, there's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of leaders. And, but it's because of that. It ain't, it's ain't, it's not just in the media world. Like when it comes to the passing down, it seems like you do need to have exposure. You do need to have experience. Absolutely. But a lot of the times I feel like the information is not being passed out. It's like, again, that just goes not. to show you a lot of people are like afraid to give out certain information. They feel like, Oh, oh I you new guys. Yeah. So you new guys got this now. Oh, I don't really know how to keep up with that, but y'all can keep that. And I'm going to hold on to what I got. That's been keeping me going for this long. And I'm like, you know, respectfully, if we running in the same rooms, regardless, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like, you know, at some point you should just let that go. Like, just let, let, let's let each one teach one. Like, I I don't know everything. So for you to sit here and be a, a elite to either kick me while I'm down or like any j- just call out a red flag for any false move that I made mm-hmm. because I made me not have the full knowledge or whatever the case may be. Like, help me. You feel me? 
especially if we, you know, we in the same community, you know. I love my people. I love all, but, you know, I'm real big on black excellence and unity. So what exactly inspired you to create this brand? So um, this brand is called Athletics. It's the world's first brand to merge black history and sports apparel. So the inspiration came from our history, um, historical figures like Harriet Tubman, um, Black Panthers, Marcus Garvey. Uh, we basically took their accomplishments and created sports teams and sports logos so we could celebrate them versus any sports team that's been letting you down your whole life. And also different things that happened in past recent years like Kaepernick situation, um, the Gucci situation, recently Kyrie and uh, the Dita situation. So um, just being a sneaker head and um, you know, a jersey head, we messed all that together and created a brand um, that hasn't been created before. And we can basically take our uh, accomplishments and take our history and celebrate them um, versus anything else that people celebrate or spend their money on. Because our uh, basic premise is black empowerment, our circulation of the black dollar. So we give you an alternative to the Nike and Adidas and the Under Armour. Uh, and it's also culturally relevant so you can celebrate your culture. Reason why I started this platform, and I definitely wanted to pass the mic to my bro Ja, um, just so he can give a little insight, okay, um, on his experience with joining my platform. You know, just you know, oh, this dope. is testimony. Dope. I don't want to speak for nobody, uh, so okay, yeah, I want to do shout out to my bro. Yeah. All right, Ja. So yeah, tell me about yourself and uh, tell me about your experience with the platform. All right, so um, my name is Jair. Yeah, um, I've been doing photography, music. Um, videography, editing, acting, modeling, directing since 2018. Um, I met D-Way around, I want to say 2019 maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think that's when we reconnected again. Okay. Because it was a while ago. Um, we had seen each other for like two years after we had met. Mm -hmm. But um, I was, I did my little BTS work. I did my thing with my music or whatnot. Um, but extra work, acting work. Um, but it was never like at a high volume. Like I always had time type thing. Found out about his platform. Um, eventually I took the leap and joined. Uh, I've been in a lot of different group chats for motion, parties, casting calls, stuff like of that nature. But um, and I kind of expected to get a similar result out of it, mm -hmm. but it actually turned out to be way different than any of the chats I ever had joined. Okay. Um, a lot of people in there seem to take not only the chat, but themselves a lot more serious. Uh, just going back to what uh, he said earlier about uh, there's models that it's always screaming, I'm a model, I'm a model, I'm a model, but then you go to their page and there's nothing there. Right. So when I go to that platform, it's not, there's, it's unlimited resources almost. I can go in there and find models. I can go in there and find videographers. Like you said, there's Georgia State representatives in there, PRs, marketers, and people. Atlanta is small, so a lot of people in there know people that you need to be connected with. Mm -hmm. And um, so not only on the business aspect of it and being able to get into actual, real, important, you know, motion or business etc um it was also a family aspect that was unexpected about it there's obviously a core of the group but that core is extremely strong and mm -hmm. they really look out for each other um you might like you said somebody might do something either kind of kind of set a heart just to help you push your agenda and you might just you know how to kind of say a heart to do something back for them because all this comes in a full circle when it comes to creating um, we get, he may cast for a video. She's the model. I'm the artist. He's the videographer. He's the editor. That's the, the makeup artist. Like it's, it's just regardless of what we're doing, it always comes together. <laughs> I appreciate you though, because I ain't gonna lie. Like he definitely one of my elite members. I actually just put him on my administrative team. Was yesterday? Two days ago? Yesterday? Two days ago? Um, because you know, he definitely be supportive when we got a, a thing called Turn Your Click Up Tuesdays. Yeah. Um, where everybody posts a story or a post. Right. 
that they want everybody else to share on their stories. You know, again, back to what I said earlier, nice. we help them build algorithm and engagements. Mm-hmm. Like I'm standing on it. Uh, and you know, it's, it's some inactive ones. It's folks that don't really like, you know, be hit in the game with that one. But, um, him, he's one of the ones that's like on it. Like he's going to show the janitor the same love and respect. He'll show the CEO. All right. And that's what made me respect him. This is his integrity. His dedication, his commitment, and he definitely want to see you know me soar and win. And for anybody that's around me that want to see me win, you gonna win with me. Or if you win, I'm winning with you. Like sure. we locked in because it's genuine. Because we're not doing anything tick for tack. And you know, let's be real. Like I ain't putting money in his pocket, but him joining the platform, he didn't got money put in his own pocket because of the opportunities that come with it. Right. But for him to still be willing to like help okay. and you know just invest his time and energy into it. Like mm-hmm. it's going to pay off. He's going to reap the benefit. Anybody like that is going to reap the benefits of the end goal. And the end goal is to definitely make sure that any entrepreneur or entertainer that's involved with this platform has the notoriety that they deserve and the recognition. For Dope. sure. So, Oh man. I love that. <laughs> For sure. I, I, I love it. Um, For sure. It's real. You know, it, 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 it's, it's our time. And I commend you for uh, stepping up and answering that call. Because it's, I mean, just with with what I do, like with the market here, right, and the things I do outside, it's like leadership by far is not easy at all. So to be able to, so for you to be over, you (laughs) said you, you, so you experienced over 50% or you experienced over 100% growth in the sense where you went from 50 to uh, 160. So, and counting. Yeah. Um, I know that. So you have to be careful. And just when we're talking about business, not to grow fast. So that was a. It's, when you said that, I was like, "That's like putting you. a pie in this hot." Yes. I again did not expect it, but God favored me. Mm. I'm genuine and I'm loyal to God, meaning that I'm not going to be malicious, disobedient, or full of spite or hate. You know, I'm going to be a light. I love, you feel me? I've been through enough, been through enough. So I'm at that frequency right now where I just want to attract all abundance, all love, all anything that's great. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's just like (laughs) dealing with like attracting all these people and these, you know, these energies, these personalities. I didn't like, first of all, I expected to build that fast, but when it did, it just made me realize what I went through when I was back at home. I really didn't bring it up, but I had a platform going like this at home and it at the most reached maybe 40 people, 40 mm-hmm. members. Um, and I went through hell, you know, and it taught me and I feel like it prepared me for this because honestly, it didn't really dawn on me when I did see the numbers. I'm like, damn, but you know, now it's like, all right, now it's, it's real. Like, all right, I got to make sure everything. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> you got to follow through. You follow-ups is crazy. And just trying to keep everybody on one accord is crazy. You got a lot of opinions. Mm-hmm. Everybody opinionated. What it is is people are holding on to too many personal attachments and opinions and, and standpoints instead of looking at everything like business. What I want, what I want to elaborate on is... Thanks. Um, I had, you know, a certain rule or way that the chat would be for a monthly or yearly membership. And then eventually, you know, once I got my administrative team, we all sit at the table and we start plotting and planning ways to make this soar and go higher and bigger. But first, we got to make sure all members are on the same accord, meaning it's, it's time and energy that needs to be put in this, not for just the platform sake itself, but for you. Because the platform itself will benefit you. Mm-hmm. That's the end goal. Notoriety and recognition, right? So, okay, you know, I implemented a couple of little switch-ups on the rules because of dealing with this since March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Now we finna be in December, the end of the year. I didn't, like, put up with so much. I'm talking about people was going against the grain when I repeatedly, you know, said don't screenshot, you know, 
they'd be like, well, I see this public or other people got it in their group chats. You know, it's an alibi. It's always an excuse. All right, mm -hmm. cool. I heard you. Well, just don't do it again, please. You know, so it was just a lot of little shenanigans that was going on. I'm like, all right, let me just make sure I stay level-headed as CEO. Don't be too personal with my responses and my actions. Just handle it righteously mm -hmm. and not let their response or their energy affect me because I'm an empath too outside of being like a leader. I'm very big on just being it energy absorber so it's like you mad i don't want to get mad you sad i don't want to be sad so it's like all right Boy, look everybody. yeah so you know a lot of them kind of had um it was like a roller coaster just being able like for them you trying to adapt with the new rules that's coming for next year mm -hmm. again it's not to be um greedy obviously everybody know that um but it's more so for structure and you know people's like well i signed up for netflix or i, I had this phone bill or this car insurance and are they, they didn't do da da da, and da, da but that's that's blasphemy. That's a lie because who, how many hidden fees? How many times your insurance or your 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 bill or anything like went up? Like you got so many like little add-ons and you like what where this come from? Right. Change the rules with Netflix, for instance. If you share your password or anything with people that's not your account shared, like with others that's not like in your house or whatever the case may be, they just shut your account down. I don't care how much you pay, you know, they're going to shut it down, right? And then what are people going to do? Or they still going to go to another, either another streaming service or they're going to wiggle their way and make sure they got Netflix on their phone, right? All right. But that's the thing where I wanted to separate a white corporation versus a black man, black entrepreneur, small black business, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to gaslight me and we of the same kind because I'm changing the rules and I'm implementing ways to make this more successful. You will hold all personal opinion and never use that to your defense with me because of this. And, oh, well, it, they'll throw, oh, gatekeeper, scammer, or da 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 They'll do all of that, right? Yeah, quick. But the white man, it's like, they'll talk their trash, but they're going to stick with it. They're going to roll with the punches because it's, it is it's what it is mm -hmm. and that's the also it's a challenge for me because it's like you know what y'all in my platform it's like if i gotta deal with this you know it's only gonna make me stronger mentally and more like you know full of wisdom just knowing how to maneuver with business because ndas contracts and all that is very vital and again i didn't know it was gonna get as big as it, it gotten so <laughs> you know this is like the birth this entrepreneurial side of me is this the new side like i'm mm -hmm. like i'm used to just being an entertainer you know, and I guess you could say just a cameraman, but I'm a businessman now. And I'm learning a lot of the ins and outs and how to just move righteously. Again, my end goal is for folks to have notoriety and recognition. I don't want nobody, um, you know, feeling like, oh, I'm moving in certain ways because X, Y, Z. No, I'm a boss, a leader, CEO. I can't be too personal right now. Like, I can't. Like, I got a team you could talk to and we can handle it accordingly, but... Right now, that's the goal. That's the motto. Like, and yeah, I'm managing it. Just like weeding out personal, mm -hmm. anything personal, and just keeping it strictly business with over 200 some folks. I feel like I'll be all right. Yeah. You know? What I love doing is making people smile and bringing joy to people's faces. So you got to come on down here and meet me and check me out here at the, what? New Black Wall Street. And we are at 8109 Mall Parkway. Come check us out. And I'm located on Bourbon Street when you get in here directly across from the Pink Lion Jazz Club. That's the one um, I, had a, I had a mentor, like he was telling me, and we were just talking about the music business, but he was just saying, in general, ain't no emotions in business. It's not. It's and not. so when I, you know, truly understanding that, uh, especially with me being in a leadership position, like I have people who come to me with uh, perceived problems and I'm just like, okay. It's like, no, this, this, this ain't that serious. But they have absolutely no idea what, um, one, what level I'm really at. I just climbed the ladder I'm amongst the people, so they have no idea what level I'm at. And then on top of that, I, I won't even go there. That that's not that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is that um, don't allow you're doing the right thing. Don't allow the intrusive the intrusive thoughts to distract you. 
because that's that's really all it is, bro. It's just like a distraction because you have a goal and it's like, me, me, me. Well, you told me this. You promised me that. That ain't what you told. I'm like, whoa, all right, that's the thing. I didn't even know I was going to meet you, first and foremost. I didn't know it was going to be a whole bunch of 100 other people that was willing to be on this accord. So mm-hmm. excuse me, forgive me, but it's not personal. It's business, you know, mm-hmm. and I want to make it work for everybody. I think you want oh, yeah, to. I'm going to let bro say Because he passionate. I told you he was. <laughs> no, that's what that, I want to add to that because it, it takes a strong individual to be able to deal with all of this. Like, not only everybody got their own opinions and feelings about mm-hmm. a platform that they didn't create, but it's also the fact of I, I, he just added me to the administrative team. And I was reading the chat earlier, and there's like, it's like 15 to 20 different ideas, but they all really good ideas and all need to seriously be considered. So not only he's handling that and handling his, what he already had going on before the platform, and handling everybody else's concerns and and then still being able to treat everybody the same and keep it, like you said, treating the janitor and the CEO the same, like mm-hmm. being able to do all that and keep your head on straight while doing all that, it's a lot. So it's, it's definitely a lot to respect. Like I'm a, I'm a very dominant man. So like I, it's hard for me to follow other people's, mm-hmm. you know, and this is like honestly been the first time I genuinely felt like comfortable like allowing somebody else to lead and I trust their vision and I trust where they're going with it because it's, it's deeper than the surface. I done seen people, like I said, they had them group chats and their platforms and whatnot and somebody that say one thing out of line and they tweaking out, ready to fight and doing all types of extra high school stuff. So, it's, and that stuff never leaves for whatever mm-hmm. reason, regardless of age, but they... It's 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 serious out here with the with the entrepreneurship because you really have to stand on your business like how you want to run it how you want to do it you got to stand on that but you got to know how to do that without <laughs> rubbing people the wrong way <laughs> and you're gonna rub somebody and it's, it's you're gonna, gonna happen. rub somebody the wrong way it's you're gonna not happen going good. to make you're not going to make everybody happy. Um, Whatever this is, any, I don't care, like any decision you make, you're probably not going to have a 100%, unless it's something like universal that somebody can, like, that's easy, like, um, everybody gets a million or everybody. everybody oh, not, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the easy, you know, <laughs> that's real. the easy stuff. Like, oh yeah, we could do a million, but that I, I, but I'm saying, I'm telling you this. That's yeah. why I even touched on the leadership stuff and all of that. I'm yeah. telling you and this. And I appreciate like, that, bro. Like, bro to bro, like. I know him personal and business, yeah. and we had a conversation before I even added him to the administrative team. Mm-hmm. And I was telling him, you know, like my expectations of him on business terms because we locked in personal already, yeah. and even business. But once you add it to the table, it's it's more like are right, serious. Is it, I'm I'm expecting a lot, a lot more, you know. And he has not failed me, and not only that, he he understood the mission and the assignment beforehand, you know, it's nothing personal with how we moving. And that's what I respect. That's what I admire. Like I said, anybody that's around me, that's organic, genuine, and like for the vision and for themselves, like it's a lot of people that, you know, I don't really know. I I, I be reaching out to a lot of the inactive members just to see what they mind, spirit and head at, you know, or whatever. And, you know, I, it's like, I don't know a lot of them. I personally never met a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't ever want to, like, uh, just prejudge a book by its cover, but I've been in situations where a lot of people may be invested into something and just wasted their time or money, and I just didn't want that to be the case. I really genuinely want everybody that invested their money or time with me especially mm-hmm. to make it show for it. So if anything... My careness may come off of whatever, but I just really want to push you and motivate you. Mm-hmm. Like, what's going on? You know, I've been there. Or if I can't relate, somebody else in the chat may just relate because it's big on moral support. Right. Um. You know, I won't put names, but just uh the other, like right before Thanksgiving, uh, a girl with, you know, a couple of kids uh, was going through something. And another girl with about more kids mm-hmm. offered her $250 worth of free food stamps, you know, to help 
feed her kids for Thanksgiving. And, like, that just, that alone, like, it's that energy a, a lot of the times. It's not, that's just, that's, yeah. they don't even know each, not only that, they don't even, like, know each other from a can of paint, a uh, yeah. can of paint. It's a lot of that that goes on in the chat, way more than anything involving a celebrity or whatever the case, whatever the catch may be, you know, yeah. quote, unquote. And that's what makes it unique. That's what makes it, like he said, just uh, that unexpected family bondage that that was needed in the world of innovators and creatives. And it's a lot of mental anxiety as being a creative. People got depression, um, insomnia. You know, we as artists and entertainers go through a lot, entrepreneurs especially. So, you know, just to be able to be in a space where you can, like, you know, be vulnerable and a safe space, like, that's that's beautiful for our community.